Hello everybody, this is Daniel Quayer from PeacefulAnarchism.com out here in the beautiful nature once again. And I got a, a fan that wrote in to me saying, I like your Peaceful Anarchism page, I like your style, but my question is how do we get there? What does peaceful anarchism look like? Can I do it now? Do I have to wait until me and my husband retire? At which point should we cash in our mutual funds and annuities and take the money out and put it under our mattress? Should I have had my kids unassisted without a midwife so they wouldn't have social security numbers? Are my kids now trapped in the system because they do have social security numbers? What should we do? How do we live this peaceful anarchy that you talk about? What does it look like? And <clears throat> my approach to this philosophy is it is not only a morality and a way of looking at economics and human interaction but it is a way of life there's no time that we wait to practice peaceful anarchism we practice it now we embody it it must emanate from our pores from every fiber of our being in all the people that we talk to and interact with and communicate the people that we enter into relationships they must recognize that we exude peaceful anarchism it is not solely an economic system it is a way of life it is not that we have to wait until a truly voluntary society is reached. We don't have to wait for the day when the state is no more. Because statism is merely a state of mind. It's a mental illness. It's the hallucination that some people have rights that other people do not have. Therefore, peaceful anarchism is also in the mind. Freedom must begin in the mind. If you have freedom in your heart and in your being, there is nothing anyone can do to rob you of that. No amount of laws or regulations or threats of violence and punishment can rob true freedom from the individual. In the words of Mahatma Gandhi, you can cage me, you can beat me, you can torture me, you can chain me up, but you will not imprison my mind. Statism is a state of mind. Freedom is a state of mind. Anarchism is a state of mind. It is the assertion that there is no one who can claim authority over my life. I will acknowledge no one. I will accept the consequences of my actions. I own myself and all of the products of my labor. When we can realize this, when we can understand this, we will see that it is not about fighting the state. It is not about protesting and rioting and picketing and signing petitions. It is about living in the freest manner possible. Agorism, counter-economics, live outside of the state transact outside of the state, have your business outside of the state, raise your kids outside of the state, 
Do everything you can to live outside of the state. Take your currency out of fiat currency. Take your wealth and put it into places that the state cannot touch, that the state cannot confiscate. The state has a monopoly on currency, on money. Take your wealth outside of fiat currency. Put it into mediums that is beyond the reach of the tentacles of bureaucrats. Invest in hard assets, invest in precious metals, invest in Bitcoin, invest it in anything that is beyond the cold grasp of the beast. In living an agorist lifestyle, we are starving the beast. The state thrives on taxation. The state is subsistent on inflation. Rob the state of funding. Rob the state of your attention and your participation and it will die just as surely as any parasite who is deprived nourishment from the host. The state is a tumor on society. It is an outgrowth. It cannot survive on its own. It is not a productive sector of society. It is as productive as a tick, a tapeworm, or a leech. You don't need to fight it. You just need to deprive it of nourishment. Deprive it of your attention, your participation, your children, and your currency. It, rest assured, it will wither away and die of its own accord. In the words of Entienne Labouetti, you need not place hands on the tyrant to topple him, just remove him from a pedestal and like a colossus he will fall to pieces. Peaceful anarchism is a way of life. You live it, you breathe it, you exude it every single day of your life. Talk to people, educate others, spread these messages, spread these ideas, help people to understand that human beings do not need to be dominated, subjugated, or controlled. It is only in moments of freedom that the most beautiful and marvelous things are created. Under force and coercion, only the wretched survive. Only the wicked are attracted to these institutions. Don't give them your attention. Don't look to them for help. They cannot solve your problems. They are the cause of the problem. I urge you all, please, live peaceful anarchism. Live agorism. Be kind, be gentle, be loving, be compassionate. That is how we make the world a better place. It is not through empowering megalomaniacs and sociopaths. They cannot help you. There is no one who is more capable of running your life than you. Never forget that. So this is Danilo from PeacefulAnarchism.com Wishing all of you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye. Enjoy.